Nobody would have known the difference. Ah, check the home okay. screen. I think it's not going on, I checked. Come to the border, one time they throw them up, two times they throw them up. And I'm out of town for three days. I come back, my dormitory room, it wasn't a dormitory, we rented it directly. And I come in, I take a shower. Phone? Phone? Somebody told me there's a collect call from no, Mr. Potts. I said, you take the call and you speak to him. They said, why can't I tell him to call back in 10 minutes? I said, if I'm paying for it, you listen to me. I didn't bother you. I told them, in a half hour, I'm leaving. I'm jumping back into the car. I'm leaving. Five and a half hours after I left, I had to dial him like this. Five and a half hours after I left, I'm up in Canada. We bought him some clothes. Why? How long was he there for? They stole his clothes. Oh, thank you, babe. This is the history. I'll tell you after. They stole his clothes. Oh, they stole his money. Oh. They wouldn't let him sleep in the dormitory. They wouldn't let him eat the I come there and I say, when was the last time you ate? He said, more than two days ago. Oh. That, okay. As soon as he took up some soup. So that. I told them, now eat slowly, we'll go back to the mikveh, there's new pants, new shirts, new this, you get you dressed, and you burn this stuff. Wow. He said, how am I going to get over the border? I said, that's my business. And I saw the person that I did not like, and I couldn't smuggle him in, so the guy says to me, what do you got to declare? I said, a box of cigars and an idiot in the back. Ask him for his papers. You know that he's not allowed to America. Yeah. I said, I'm an American citizen. I'm allowed to bring anybody I want for 30 days. Right? Yeah. Then look at the video, Doug. He says, you're right, you know the law. I said, fine. But if you don't bring him back in 30 days, you overstay by one day, you lose your rights to bring You're going to listen to this afterwards, yeah? To bring anybody in. On the 29th day, <coughs> we go to the airport, deliver him to INS. Who's INS? <coughs> Immigration Nationalization. Okay. And, and I said to them, oh, you got to give, give us some papers. He's got to have the papers so he can fly. Yeah. I got to have the papers so you guys don't screw me. Yeah. They said, well, we need papers. I said, you'll make a copy. So they took him in a, in a car in the back seat, and I told him, don't put handcuffs on him, he's not fighting, they were going to put cuffs on him. Hey. Right? Yeah. I said, I said, if you want, I'll go with you, I'll leave my car in. They said, no, 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 you're telling me, you guys came back, you didn't have to give us any problems, you guys came back, if you're telling me he's not going to fight us, okay. Took him to the plane, and he, they said, and they tell me later that what a gentleman he was. I said, he just wanted to get out. But how did you know you? Everybody knows this fella. What's your name? Afsin. Afsin. You have Afsin and Aris Saul? He's drug dealing. You have Afsin and Aris Saul? It's all over the world. Okay, well, thank you, Dad. Thank you very much for saving your life. Thank you very much. He said that a hundred times. Oh, well, thank you very much for giving a piece.